So today guys, I bring you my favorite five pistols in the game. Now for me, this has been a super hard choice. I mean, there are so many great pistols in this game. And in the end, I decided to choose the five pistols I saw myself using most. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Now I know this list will probably piss somebody off because their favourite pistol isn't mentioned. That's why guys I want to hear your opinion into what is the best pistol in this game right now and you'll actually give me your top three pistols in this game right now and leave them down below in that comments section okay so on to my list and at five we have something i know many people won't even have heard of and it's a rare weapon it's called the carbuncle now the carbuncle is a torg pistol slash alien tech weapon with an almighty punch this drops, I believe, from literally every enemy loot source in the game. I've seen it drop most so within the slower shaft. It does drop, I believe, offering all elements in the game too. It comes in a few different variants also. All I believe though consume the entire standard magazine size upon shooting a single shot. There are nine times variants, obviously shooting nine times at a time, eight times variants, and five times variants. There may be more which I haven't even come across yet, I don't know. You can see they also offer extra benefits besides the normal 650 times damage by the variant you have. Benefits like 100 plus splash damage radius and normally a plus 40% reload speed. So as you can see the projectiles this thing shoots are seriously tied together almost looking like a single projectile until you shoot a target a little further away and you can see the spread. The weapon deals serious damage though. If you get the initial damage via the bullets hitting that target, which also cause additional ticks, then the projectiles. They stick to the target, then explode dealing even more damage, as well as damage over time. It is a great weapon and although many people are put off by using weapons that are not legendaries, I would consider if you ever come across these people to give it a try. I would say using a build which allows you to regenerate ammo or gives you a bigger than standard clip as with a weapon like this. That's how you make the most out of possible DPS with it. So yeah guys, number 5 on my top 5 pistols list is a rare. The first and only non-legendary weapon on this list. So let's move on. So at number 4 on my top 5 pistols list is the Duck or Duke I believe this is actually pronounced. Now this Jacob's weapon on paper doesn't actually seem that good. Possibly comparing stats by paper to others on my list, this really would be one of the weakest, weaker than many not even on this list. But in reality guys, that couldn't be further from the truth. This pistol is actually quite a powerhouse, due to the fact in actually shots stick to their target and do okay damage, but then they explode and do extra massive damage. Magazine size is quite low, but again that can be extended and worked around. This weapon I do believe drops from the Rampager and it's well worth your time trying to get it if you haven't used it already. With its plus 10 critical hit damage, a plus 93% weapon damage, a plus 19% reload speed and a plus 100 splash damage radius. Which comes into effect upon that explosion obviously and it's quite brutal. Now obviously variants can differ but they're usually around this offering similar stats to this. It also being a Jacob's weapon ricochets two shots to nearby enemies upon a critical hit. So yeah guys, the Doc is a great great pistol in my opinion, one I actually believe is a little under the radar, one I absolutely love using till this day. Okay so moving on, and in at number 3 on my top 5 pistols is an old favourite of mine. Now I won't lie to you guys, I almost forgot about this until going through my bank, seeing it and reusing it and then realising how great this thing was and it is the companion. Now this is a weapon I believe rewarded from Hot Carl's crew challenge but it's also a world drop too as far as I know. So this, yet another Jacob's pistol, ignites an enemy on every critical hit. It's utterly brutal people. Although it can't ignite enemies with body shots though, that doesn't matter because you always aim for the head anyway. But also amazingly about this is the fast reload with a massive magazine size for a pistol too. 
you can't take the sky from me. This is a reference to an old TV show called Firefly. This thing has a plus 10 critical hit damage bonus and a plus 15% reload speed. So reusing this beast after a while of it gathering dust in my vault, I realised just how great of a weapon this is. In fact, even now placing this at number 3 on my list, I ain't sure if it should be higher. If I used it probably for another few days, it could possibly climb this list. It's a great, great weapon, one that would definitely fit many builds out there, and one I know many pistol fans enjoy using. Okay, so moving on to number two on my list of top five pistols in the game, and it's a new addition to the game, one which arrived with the Muxus heist of the Handsome Jackpot DLC, and it's the Lucky 7. Now, the Lucky 7 is one of the most unique pistols in this game as upon every reload you get a chance of rolling 5 perks with the weapon's next clip, the crit perk which makes every shot count as a critical hit, full auto, which also increases fire rate too it seems, a random elemental effect, explosive rounds and lucky 7. Lucky 7 is a perk with each shot fires 7 projectiles, which is amazing, super brutal and one I wish I could roll every single time. Now I figured out that using a luck artifact with this weapon does seem to improve the chance of landing perks on a reload. Now this thing goes really from a standard weapon to randomly turning into one of the most powerful in the game. If you roll lucky 7, full auto and crit on the same reload, this thing is on another level DPS and damage output wise. It's actually quite scary. The problem is they don't roll that often together. Now I've used this since the Muxis DLC was dropped and it really hasn't left my inventory. I've only tried to get better variants to be honest. Now its primary drop source is Scrap Trap Prime upon the Conductor and the Handsome Jackpot, but it can drop everywhere else from any other enemy aboard the Handsome Jackpot. So yeah guys, this is number 2 on my list, actually a close number 2, this could have scraped number 1. So guys, my favourite pistol in the game so far, and probably one that won't come as a surprise to many people in the game, and that is the Maggie, Jacob's wife. This beast, a pistol which basically is the Lucky 7 with the Lucky 7 perk activated 100% of the time. Now this is a pistol I've seen many people state is overrated, it's a pistol I've seen people state is overpowered, I've seen people state it's utterly garbage, I've seen people say all kinds of things. But I've lately seen many many people start using and big this weapon up. I mean I don't get it, it's always been great, why all of a sudden are people just realising? Now you true Maggie fans will have known since day one just how much of a beast this thing is. Now this Maggie I know has a dedicated drop boss, but it is also a world drop too, just pretty rare. The dedicated boss drop on this thing is the tremendous rex within the system of slaughter. Now this is a weapon again on paper it starts don't look that great at all. Minus accuracy and minus weapon damage. I will mention though the damage handling accuracy numbers you see are based with the minus stats we do see here by the way. So if you see a weapon which has minus 50% weapon damage, the damage number you are seeing has already applied that minus as far as I'm aware. But seriously people, the Maggie is an awesome beast. Although it doesn't offer any elemental damage type, it's still in my opinion the best pistol this game offers right now. So yeah guys, those are my top 5 pistols within Borderlands 3. So let's move on to honourable mentions. Firstly, the Unforgiven. Probably the most powerful pistol in the game on paper, I feel this deserves a mention for the simple fact of the crit swap technique which just makes things super super easy and it's probably the main reason many people leave this in their inventory. Another pistol I feel deserves a mention is the Moonfire which arrived with the takedown at the Maliwan Black Site, a powerful unique pistol offering all elemental effects which will do you greatly. Another pistol I feel deserves a mention is something I actually don't see anybody talk about anymore and it's one I still love, it's called the Shocking AAA. This pistol is actually really really good, one of the best weapons in this game in taking that enemy shield off. If someone out there has a build based on shock damage, this one is for you 100% certainly. And lastly guys, probably the first pistol I used and really liked, the Rosen's Fawns. Really my introduction into pistols within BR3, and to be honest it's still in my opinion underrated. No it isn't the best in the game, but it's far from the worst and I feel this pistol could fit some of those elemental builds out there really nicely. But guys, that is it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, 
Don't forget, tell me your top three pistols down below in that comments section. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.